The world we're living in is changing. The global population is growing. Natural resources are being used up at an ever increasing rate and the planet is suffering. We need to take stock of the situation and assess our priorities at an important time for our environment because only we are in a position to do something about it. I'm here to tell you a story of sustainability, renewability, and social responsibility that just so happens to be a great investment opportunity. It's a story I believe in. So allow me to take you on a journey that may well change your perception forever. The journey is from soil to oil to you. We start our journey on a plantation in Thailand, a plantation owned and managed by Asia Plantation Capital. And these are Acularia trees. They are incredibly valuable, not for their word, but for what lies inside. In 7% of these trees that grow in the wild, a natural resin is formed after the tree responds to an infection. This resin, when distilled, produces an oil of extraordinary quality that can be put to a mind-boggling variety of uses. The wood chips are fragrant and in high demand, and this is the stuff that makes the best incense sticks in the world. It's been part of the landscape since before recorded history, but thanks to greed and illegal logging, the trees from which this resin is extracted are now on the list of endangered species. The problem is that only 7 out of every 100 trees yield the resin naturally, and that means that more than 90 out of 100 do not. There's no way of telling from the outside, and illegal loggers simply cut down everything. It explains the denudation of a species that used to grow throughout tropical Asia, and was, until very recently, rarely to be seen. And that is until Asia Plantation Capital came onto the scene and started to replant the Acularia trees in its natural habitat. The species is now flourishing and is part of a business model that everyone is talking about, that everyone wants to be a part of, which makes very good sense to me. To me, this is simply more than just diversifying my portfolio in agriculture. I feel as though I'm doing something to help the environment and the society. I have never invested anything that I can see, smell and touch and it's a truly satisfying experience for me. And from witnessing the process from soil to oil, I can ensure that my investment is in good hands with APC. It's an excellent business model. Um, it's giving back to com the community, it's giving back to Mother Nature, and it's something that just works. It's, there's no two way about it. It's a tree that produces a high valuable oil that is in need and is sellable. So it goes back. You just have to wait a while, surely. But my daughter, who's now seven, that just went just like that. The Acularia tree is now growing in parts of the world in which it was almost extinct, thanks to Asia Plantation Capital and their stakeholders. APC is also making sure, by using their own patented technologies, that the maximum value is extracted from some of the trees as part of an integrated business model. This is done with all the necessary certification from government bodies and international organizations that exist to ensure that all products are legal and sustainably sourced. This bottle of wood oil is worth in the region of 50,000 US dollars. It's the oil from the Aquilera tree and it is, if you like, the very essence of nature. This is agar wood, or wood as it is known and has been used in the fragrance world, particularly in the Middle East, for thousands of years. These are the highly valued wood chips that smell divine and are in high demand for their medicinal value and their use in religious ceremonies and carvings. Wood has an incredible number of uses and is more valuable today than it's ever been. Asia Plantation Capital produces this magical substance in its own distilleries and from its own trees, making sure of sustainable practices as well as quality control at every stage in the process. Asia Plantation Capital has perfected the technology that enables every single tree to develop the resin that is distilled into wood oil or used as wood chips by injecting the organic bacteria that facilitates the process. Sometimes even nature needs a helping hand and this process makes sure that the trees are grown, 
nurtured and cultivated as reliably as any other plantation stock. And that also means that there's no longer any need to destroy what few forests still exist. From soil to oil, APC has it covered. It's part of the journey and part of a process in which local communities are heavily involved. Asia Plantation Capital is fulfilling one of the core tenets of its corporate philosophy, and that is social responsibility. For many of these communities, illegal logging was once the mainstay of their economy. APC has changed all that, ensuring that the communities that work on and around their plantations have honest, well-paid work and embrace the roles as fellow custodians of the environment that nourishes them. APC is helping in the education of children in the communities as well as providing medical facilities and enhancing infrastructure to ultimately improve the economic prospects of everyone involved. Well, not for a year, the tree and the tree are still there. After we help each other, the tree will be able to grow up like this. I feel very happy that the tree is one of the tree in the tree of the tree. Um, a lot of the tree planting exercises that I do back home is just that you plant the tree and you go off, you do your photo op. But for this, I really truly believe in it now that I'm part of it, I've seen it for myself because it's not just planting a tree, it is also giving back to the community, it is also about an investment, so it makes a really good sense to someone who wants to be a part of it. And I can see why there's such a craze. Workers are encouraged to interplant crops around the trees, to grow what they need and sell the surplus at market. It's all part of the sustainability and environmental awareness that is central to what APC does and the values it holds. We've dealt with the soil and we've just seen the oil, but where do you come in? Believe it or not, right here. One of the main uses for oud oil is in the fragrance industry, where bespoke and personalized fragrances are becoming the trend. Oud seems to be at the very heart of that trend and is acknowledged to be the ingredients of the 21st century. I should also mention at this point that APC is the only plantation company in the world supplying complete fragrances to retail perfume chains using its very own oud oil from its very own sustainable plantations. Recognizing the quality of the oud oil it was making, APC decided to establish its own perfume house. Every single one of Fragrance du Bois perfumes contain oud oil, extracted from trees grown on APC's plantations and distilled in its own distilleries. Oud has been used in the fragrance world for thousands of years, and Fragrance du Bois now has access to the best oud on the market. From soil, to oil to you. Our story is now complete and it is a story of renewability, sustainability and social responsibility with science and nature working hand in hand.